When you dream, you have not a big machine around you. When you want to fly, you are floating over your bed or you disappear uh, through your windows. Driven by his desire to fly like a bird, Swiss military trained pilot and aviation enthusiast Yves Rossi shared his views and ideas with visitors of the Jet Setter Business Aviation Conference recently held in Tel Aviv. I have the chance to be invited this time by the Jet Setter Company. I am very warm, welcome here. Yesterday I had the chance to fly along the beach here to the north and a little bit on the landscape. We did formation flights with two ultralights. 59-year-old Rossi, otherwise known as Jetman, discovered free falling in the early 90s and has been trying ever since to make that feeling last longer and longer. Skydiving is, is the nearest thing. Unfortunately, it goes there and it's only for 45, 50 seconds. So the idea came, okay, keep that feeling of freedom, but really fly, stop the fall and fly. When you have tasted that kind of flight, it's, you will be an addict, okay? And I am an addict. <laughs> With his self-designed jetpack strapped on his back, the former fighter pilot soars through the air at speeds approaching 180 miles per hour. And with no steering mechanism, that is not an easy task for the human body. I stay fit. Uh, I'm not uh, a very big fan of fitness, but I go regularly. I do many other sports to stay fit and to stay, I would say, uh, you know, when you have to coordinate ma many things like on uh, uh, kite surfing, surfing, skiing and so, you, yeah, stay just fit and reactive. Rossi's device is a semi-rigid airplane type carbon fiber wing with a span of about 2.6 yards powered by four Jetcat P400 engines. His current model has been heavily modified over the years. It was really a step-by-step -step development and a learning by doing development. That means at the beginning I didn't want to put jets, I just wanted to, to stop falling, I wanted to glide. I was just trying, go up, jump and try. His desire for self-contained flight took Rossi to new heights. Now he's looking forward to his next challenge. My priority is to, to go to the next, next step of development. That's really to be autonomous. Currently, I start from a helicopter and I land as a parachutist, okay, with a parachute. But now I have more power than weight. That means I can go vertical. Currently, I, stay, I can fly vertical 200 kilometers per hour up. As an airline pilot, he visited Israel many times, but this is his first private visit, and although he does not have immediate plans to fly in Israeli airspace anytime soon, Rossi has tremendous respect for the Israeli innovation, particularly in aerospace and aviation. Yoav Schuster, I-24 News.